This is L.A. Pomeroy with Holistic Horse here at Equine Affair, Massachusetts, November 13th, 2010. And we have the great pleasure today to be talking with Jane Savoy with her Equisense Systems. Jane, tell us what this remarkable thing is all about. Well, you nailed it with the word remarkable. What we have done is taken the subjective human element out of diagnosis and analysis of rider position and combine science and technology which can be much more subtle than the naked eye as far as determining when riders are sitting unbalanced or crookedly or have an unequal weight in the reins. So we've developed a saddle and reins that have over a million sensor points that are so sensitive and what we do is we adjust the rider's position and give them some muscle memory and then a buzzword connected to that muscle memory. Maybe their pelvis is twisted and we'll tell them point your left seat bone toward the horse's right ear and we can see on the screen whether they end up sitting centered and balanced and we do that stationary to begin with and then we get the horse moving and we see if they revert to their own muscle memory but we can cue them with their buzzword they can make the correction and what we're able to do because we really have refined these corrections like I said more so than the naked eye can see we can reduce fixing chronic position problems from years and months to days and hours. At, at the World Equestrian Games, we had one lady sit in the tack. She was very, very crooked. We got her straight. She came back two days later, sat in the, the tack. All the needles were lined up. She was dead on center because she remembered the muscle memory. So it's, it's an amazing breakthrough because riders get so frustrated picking away at their position day after day. Now, what's the engineering history behind the program? Where did these million sensors uh, come from and be developed? Well, I have some incredible partners. <laughs> they, they're geniuses. It's not me because I barely email and I, don't text me because I don't know how to <laughs> get texts or text you back. So, like, I'm a technophobe. I'm a technological idiot, but I have some great partners. And one of my partners he is basically from the medical field, and he had invented a heart attack simulator, a multiple sclerosis simulator, where a patient who might not be really articulate would go into a doctor and say, well, I, I'm having these chest pains, and the doctor's trying to get them to describe it, and is it dull, is it stabbing, is it in, intermittent, is it constant, and they can't really tell. Or I'm exhausted, I've been fatigued for, for three weeks. They put on a vest, the doctor puts on the vest, the doctor can feel. This is so, yeah, it's so incredible. The exact same sensation of fatigue, the chest pain, for multiple sclerosis, they could simulate double vision, dizziness. So I'm talking to this friend of mine, this technological genius, and I said, you know, as a riding instructor, Sometimes it's frustrating for both the instructor and the student because the student will say, the horse is pulling on my right rein, he's pulling on the right rein, and you're looking and, and you re really can't see it, number one. Number two, you don't know if it's the student pulling on the horse or the horse pulling on the student. And so I said to my friend, if I could just get inside my students' bodies and feel what they're feeling, I could help them a whole lot more. And he's like, well, I can do that. And that's how we started. It also seems to some degree that it allows you to get at least under the horse's skin. And this can also kind of represent what the horse is feeling from oh, the rider, too. Absolutely, absolutely, because the horses, you know, the sensors are very, very sensitive, and your horse is very, very sensitive. So you might think you're sitting straight and balanced and square. You feel crooked to the horse. You knock him off balance, and then you're wondering why he's being disobedient, not doing what you're asking, when you're just getting in his way. So for sure, when you get yourself sorted out, he feels that you allow him to do his job that much more easily. Now this comes for all size horses, uh, are, are they comfortable, is there anything about the bridle or the mechanism that, that is strange to them that you have to introduce them to? No, it, it's not, the bridle is not the bridle, it's just the reins. You can attach the reins to your own bridle in your normal bit, so there's no change, there, there won't be any change with that. We have a generic saddle for our EQ training centers, which are located throughout the country and we're starting to go globally now. And it's a generic saddle that will sit on our Equisizer and anybody's basically very comfortable. And we also have these generic saddles for, because the tack isn't made only to be used on the Equisizer, the tack is to be used on your real 
horse. So we have the generic saddles, but we also have the option if you have a favorite saddle type that you are absolutely comfortable with a certain manufacturer, we can put the sensors in that saddle for you so that, and you won't feel them. They're very unobtrusive. But we can put, you can either ride in one of our saddles or we can modify a saddle of your choice so that you're always comfortable sitting in your own tack. Now, how much does a, a program like this, uh, how much does it cost to in invest in it? Well, you, we have so many different programs. Like I said, we have the EQ training centers where we train instructors, like, like our instructor here. We have training centers where actual students can come. We are developing a, a, a scaled down version of this so that it can be in the home almost like a Wii game so that people can practice at home. We have so many different variations on this and so every single program, training center, whatever is customized. So we don't have one set price. It's what you want. We develop whatever you need and then the price, it's priced accordingly. Now of course your background and reputation was built in the dressage ring. Is this applicable to all disciplines? All disciplines. If you look over here you'll see that we're starting of course with dressage because that's what I do. But when we were at WEG we had the entire Spanish endurance team and of course they won the gold medal. They said, we want this, we want this. So we had endurance riders, we had hunter jumpers, we had rainers, and with very slight modifications to the tack, and of course having western saddles, which is what we're working on now, we can put these sensors in any tack. And so, it, and you know, balanced riding is balanced riding, no matter what discipline you choose. So yes, we're starting with dressage, because that's what I do, but we're covering all of the disciplines. You've got an amazing combination of the traditional and the, the, the cyber future. Absolutely. You nailed it. Not That's the least it. bit surprised, Jane, it would be you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.